Hello, everybody. Let's go over the RSI indicator. RSI is abbreviated for Relative Strength Index. That's what it stands for. You can find the RSI down in your indicators portion in the bottom middle of your screen here. And RSI 15 is what you're going to see. The 15 in parentheses just means that this RSI is measured over a 15 day period. That's where it acquires its data from, from the past 15 candlesticks, the past 15 days. So looking at RSI right here, very simple parameters you want to use when you're looking at the relative strength index. If the RSI is above 70, that usually means that the asset could be potentially overbought. And if the RSI is below 30, that could potentially mean the asset is oversold. So we're just taking those parameters. Let's go ahead and take a look at Tesla here. Currently on ticker symbol Tesla right here. On the left-hand side, we have our RSI scale. Now, RSI is typically going to range from 0 to 100, so typically you won't have to go above 100 on this scale. But I'll go ahead and expand this so we can see some of the higher values. And this is our graph right here on RSI. Okay, we can see it right here. Okay, so looking at this Tesla chart, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to drag my cursor along the RSI, and we're going to look at some of the values. And we're going to see if we encounter any of the really high values on the RSI, and if we do encounter some of the high values, we're going to see what the Tesla stock did. Okay, we're going to do some simple back testing here. So let's go ahead and we'll start from the right side and we're going to go to the left. Okay, so currently our RSI is in the 40s, low 40s. Okay, as I continue to go back in time through the end of August, we can see now we're at the 50 mark. Okay, so nothing major, nothing major. This part right here. Okay, so I moved my cursor. And Tesla RSI on July, about the beginning of July, the 9th of July, 2024, as you can see down here, okay, the 9th of July, 2024, our RSI was currently around above 80, pretty high. Remember what I said in the beginning that an RSI above 70 typically represents an over, an overbought asset, typically, sometimes, okay, but it's a good detail to really consider. So if our RSI was above 70, in this case, we're at the $80 $80 range, or to be the 80, the 80 value range. Look at what Tesla did. Okay, so up here, Tesla was trading around 260, 270. And what happened was RSI was telling us we were overbought. What happened was Tesla actually ended up coming back down. We were overbought. That was a true signal. Okay, we were overbought. Tesla, you know, we pushed up really, really high. There was a lot of momentum. That's great. But Tesla kind of needed a breather. And this is exactly what happened. We got a pullback. All right, let's continue looking to see any, any major RSI values. Okay, in the 50s right here, right here. So as you can see right here, we're at 27, 27 right here. 26, okay, 26, 27. And this was back in April 2024, the 22nd of April. So this is where the price of Tesla was. And our RSI was at 24. Okay, the lowest point was, okay, the lowest point was around 28, excuse me. Our lowest point on the RSI was about 28. Remember what I said in the beginning, an RSI typically below 30 represents an oversold indicator. And this was a true signal. If Tesla is oversold right here, based off what the RSI is telling us with a value below 30, that means that Tesla has come down by so much that typically this makes sense for people, investors, traders to start buying the stock again because we are oversold. And that's exactly what happened. The price started to bid up. Okay, the price began to increase and the RSI value went from 28 to the 30s and the 40s and the 50s right afterwards. So this was a true signal. The RSI you can help this can help you look for any outliers when the market shoots up extremely fast or the market shoots down extremely fast. It can help you look at overbought signals to where maybe you can short it or maybe you can take profits or maybe you can look at oversold signals and oversold signals are going to help you. Okay, I'm going to get into the stock right here or I'm going to stop shorting the market. I'm going to take profits on my short position or I'm going to go long. Those are all different potential possibilities. It's definitely recommended that you use the RSI in tandem with some other indicators 
no, no indicator is 100% perfect. Some indicators will give false signals and you just have to be mindful of that. But overall, it's a great signal that you can use in your trading. Typically, I'll give you some more numbers. A strong uptrend, if you're ever witnessing a strong uptrend, typically the RSI is usually going to remain above 40. And if you have a strong downtrend, typically the RSI will remain below 60. But again, anything could happen in the markets. Those are just estimates. But the um, the main ones are if the RSI is above 70, you're typically in overbought territory. And if the RSI is below 30, you're typically in oversold territory. Hopefully this video helps you a lot in your trading and thanks for watching.